Hey there, I hope you're doing well. Today I want to take you inside SketchUp and show you how I create dynamic doors using the plugin called Flex Tools and also downloading from the 3D warehouse a door panel that has different dynamic properties to it, allowing you to customize the face of the door to insert into your dynamic Flex Tools door component. So I know this sounds complicated, but it's fairly easy. So let's get right into SketchUp here and I'll show you how it's done. All right, so let's open up SketchUp here, draw a quick rectangle, extrude this up about 10 feet. And now we will, see this is flextools.cc. This is where you can go to download the program uh, plugin. Costs some money, but given what it can do, it's pretty uh, reasonable. Um, you'll notice that since we added this rectangle as just a single line object, these walls, these doors try to cut through walls. So you have to convert this to um, basically downgrade the level of cut to a single cut. But let's go to the 3D warehouse and search for dynamic multi-panel door and download that file, insert it into your drawing. And I'll just rotate it to be the same orientation as the door there. I want to remove the material. So I'll select this and I'll use a plugin um, called Remove All Materials. And then I want to apply new glass to this door. So I'm going to go in and double click, double click again, get all the way down into the glass layer. Whoops, that needs to go one layer, one level in. So click again. So you just have the glass selected and add that material. All right, so now we have our door panel. So we can back out of this. One thing you wanna do is measure the depth of this panel and it's inch and a half. So we need to adjust this flex tool door to have the properties that match the panel up. So it's, it's an inch and a half as well. So go to the door here, and then we'll change this to inch and a half. Select outside and apply that to the door. So now that door's door panel matches this door panel. So you want to take this panel and move it basically into the hinge bottom left corner of this existing door. And then we'll scale this up to match the panel in this door here. Snap to that corner. And then I'll do control X to basically copy it out. And then you want to double click into this flex tools door until you get to almost till you get to the properties, but you want to be one level back to where you select the door and it's actually still a block and you want to select it, right click and say scale definition. And now you can go in and select all the elements and erase them. Didn't get them all. So let me select again, select all connected and delete and then do control let's see edit paste in place and that'll paste that door into this door so now you can copy this door over and you can see it cuts and and does all kinds of things but when you actually try to adjust the dimensions of it it kind of freaks out on you so you actually need to undo undo that step where you adjusted the depth and make that a unique element. There's something about this process making a unique element kind of cleans cleans it up. But it doesn't do it to this object. It's strange. It, it does it to to the other to the other object. <laughs> so 
so you can see that this one now is adjusting properly so delete this other one I don't know kind of what the glitch is here with this but you can see that you can scale this door to whatever you need it to be so we'll delete this door and there you go you got a very quick easy way to add a door and change the style and all that kind of stuff so if you go to your the flex tools come with comes with like a little navigator thing and you can add that door to the navigation so I've already done that here in this example but I'm gonna take take that you just you just um, hit the plus symbol and it'll add it back into the, the library there um, and you make sure when you put these in that they're snapping if it goes down below it won't cut the wall properly but this door is fully adjustable now now I haven't found a way to actually add a double door into this um, properly for some reason or another it's kind of it's kind of weird but adding that multi door panel you can see when you get into the door itself so click in until you see this door assembly options there we go door panel so you can adjust these to a multitude of, of different doors um, just choose one of these here this one hit apply and it'll convert that door to to that door panel and you see it ma it matched it to the other door so you would need to make this a unique element in order for it to uh, be different than the others because it's a component that you're adjusting so you make that one unique double click go into the door panel make sure your properties are open and we'll change this to a different style hit apply and you see now it's adjusted for that particular style and then you could take this door if you want and add it into your library select the door go over to the plus symbol and you can rename this basically it's saving saving out the file saving out the component to a folder and then that folder is accessed and, and shows all the thumbnails so now that'll appear you can click and add that directly into your drawing so fast convenient way to have smart doors inside SketchUp that uh, cut through walls and um, yeah hope you found this video useful and subscribe thanks